This is Tracheospermum asiaticum, Asian jasmine. And um, this is actually a really good example of what, where not to use this plant. Um, you see how this is running over the curb. Uh, I hate to just jump into the negative, but this is important as a designer that you understand what your plants do. This runs over the curb because these are real spreaders. Unlike um, star jasmine or tracheospermum jasminoids, this thing is more, it's lower. And I like this plant in bigger areas, but confined areas aren't really appropriate for it because it just spreads too fast. You see how it's pushing up some vertical runners? This thing's just run out of room. It's, it's kind of desperate. So what it's doing is it's trying to escape over the edges. Um, but here's what I like about it. It's got this nice deep green foliage. It's a lot like a, a Vinca Minor, but it's denser. It's a little taller for sure. I'd say give it, uh, expect it to be around 12 inches high um, if it's got room to spread out. If you confine it, it's gonna start clumping up on itself and that's what's going on here. Also, I can tell by this uh, yellow veining in here, um, I've seen that before and that's heat stress. It's basically sun burning because it doesn't have enough uh, water. So um, if you're gonna use this, I would tell you it's more of a moderate water type of ground cover. And, uh, but it can take plenty of sun. It just needs enough water to handle that situation. So I don't consider this a drought tolerant ground cover at all. I'd say moderate water at best. Um, these are uh, usually planted from four inch pots or even liners. Um, I like using one gallon containers if I'm gonna do this, uh, use this plant because they establish so quickly. If I use one gallon containers, I plant these about three feet on center and they'll certainly fill in within about a year and a half or so. Um, and the other thing to think about is the same way this is creeping along here, it's gonna creep into neighboring plants. So this is the challenge is, where is this appropriate to use given how vigorously it spreads? And um, I would use it in areas where essentially there are very large shrubs like a Cotoneaster lacteus or something that's kind of got five feet or higher and as wide on it to where having this, uh, this dense growth around its feet aren't gonna be a problem for that. I've seen this used in big areas just as a nice solid ground cover un under trees and that's all they used and that was a beautiful application. So when you're thinking of using it, just be careful not to use it around smaller plants. Otherwise, the maintenance on that is a real headache. I'll include a, a photo or two of this in some different applications and you can see uh, areas where it's been used nicely. But um, Asian Jasmine, it's a nice, durable, easy to grow ground cover. Um, just make sure you put it in a spot where it can move around uh, for it to look its best and avoid using it in tight areas like you're seeing here.